여러분 드디어 또 돌아왔습니다. 오늘 21강을 우리 같이 할 건데 오늘도 여러분 듣기를 한번 문쌤과 또 저의 또, 또 재밌는 진행으로 한번 편하게 들어오시죠. 문쌤 우리 또, 이렇게 또 유튜버들한테 한마디 좀 해주시죠. 맞아요. Hello. 뭐가 많? 한대 때려줄까요? 네? <웃음> 맞는다며? 아, 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 그 뜻이요. 아. 죄송합니다. 네. 세대 차이에요. 제가 지, 집에 차가 세 대가 있어요. 오, 하나 주세요. 아니요, 문쌤은 차가 없어. 그래서 세대 차이. 자, 빨리 가보죠. 자, 일단 요 분위기 살려서 들어갑니다. Hello, everybody. This is Frank and this is Moon. Okay, Moon, are you ready to study day 21? Yes, let's start day 21. Right. I will be A, please be B. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of going to the art museum this weekend. What a coincidence. I was also planning to visit. That's great. Want to go together? Of course, count me in. First expression, mm -hmm. I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. Could you explain it? It means I'm on the fence. Right, I'm on the fence. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I'm considering. That's right. Yes. And next expression, mm -hmm. what a coincidence. Could you explain it, please? So it means um, it's, some, it's something that happened unexpectedly. Right. Mm. For example, you know, I ran into Moon in Hawaii. Oh, that's that's a very coincidence. Right. What a coincidence. Yes. Another expression we say, what a small world. Yeah, what a small world. 여러분, 길에서 코인을 봤어. 음. 그 뜻밖의 코인을 우연의 일치죠? Mm -hmm. What a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Good. And last expression, count me in. I don't get it, Moon. So count me in means I want to join as well. Right. I want to join you guys. Mm. Another expression we say tag me along. Ah, tag me along. I heard that you are going to go to clubs. Please no. count me in. Sorry. I'm too old. Yeah, <laughs> too old to go there. Yes. You are super excited now. <laughs> I'm don't, not super excited. Yeah, don't criticize me. Moon. Oh. Masang, I, masang. I have never criticized you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Number one, how often do you visit the art museum? Mm, I don't visit art museums very often, maybe once or twice a year. Are you interested in watching art? Um, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to. I used to like to go and watch, you know, the art exhibitions. Oh. Not anymore. Not anymore. Number why? two, why? Ah. Uh -huh. uh, it's boring. It's boring. <laughs> boring, uh -huh. sorry. Okay. Number two, when do you say what a coincidence? Mm, I say what a coincidence when I unex... Sorry. I say what a coincidence when I unexpectedly meet a friend in a new place. Like Hawaii. Yes. Number three, where are you planning to go this weekend? I'm thinking of going to the park this weekend. It's close to my house. Yultong Park. Yes, Yultong Park. If you go to Yultong Park, you can dance. Yultong. Really? Ah. Good Yultong. <laughs> Yultong choreography. His joke is very funny. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. And number mm. three, we already did it. Number mm -hmm. four, will you count me in dinner tonight? Of course, you are welcome to join us for dinner tonight. Number five, are you planning to take up a new hobby? Yes, I'm thinking about starting a new hobby, like painting or playing guitar. Playing guitar mm -hmm. sounds romantic. Yes. Can you play guitar? Um, I play ukulele, but not a guitar. Too right. many strings. Right. And uh, take mm -hmm. up is useful verb. So if you want to mm -hmm. start a new hobby, mm -hmm. you can say, I, I'm going to take up a new hobby. Mm -hmm. Speak English like native speakers. First expression, what's the scoop? Hmm. What does scoop mean? So scoop means it's something um, latest information. So you can say what's the news or information. If you want to know hmm. something, mm -hmm. you can say what's the scoop? Mm -hmm. You know, I think two or three months, no, no, two or three weeks ago, mm -hmm. John Changjo ah. was a super, you know, it was a big issue in yes. Korea. So, but I didn't know that at that time because oh. I was only, 
I focused on studying yes. only English was, and making lesson plans. Yeah, that was viral in Korea. Right. Mm. And then what's the scoop? Mm. Could you give me one example? I heard there's news. What's the scoop? Good. Mm -hmm. Next one. I'm on cloud nine. Mm -hmm. I don't get it, Moon. So it means I'm extremely happy. I'm very, very mm. happy. You can say I'm on cloud nine. Yes. But why we say I'm I'm on cloud nine as I'm very happy? Um, why, Frank? Because, you know, cloud nine mm -hmm. is the top of the cloud. Mm. That's why it is the best cloud oh. and I'm the best. I'm so happy. Okay. For example, I got promoted. Mm -hmm. I'm on cloud nine. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you give me one more example? I met my favorite actor. I'm on cloud nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got paid today. I'm on cloud nine. Right. Mm -hmm. Question time. Who do you want to go hiking with? Mm -hmm. I love to hike with my close friend, Jake. Jake? Mm -hmm. Your new boyfriend? No, this is just an answer. Okay. <laughs> Number two. What's your favorite outdoor activity? Um, I really enjoy having barbecues. It's fun and tasty. Oh, fun and tasty. Mm -hmm. What outdoor activity would you like to try? I've thought about trying kayaking. Seems interesting. What's your favorite outdoor activity to do with friends? We often play frisbee or have simple picnics. Okay. Mm -hmm. Frisbee is very popular sport in Canada. Oh, really? I don't know in America or not, but mm. Frisbee is kind of one band donjiki. Yes. Number five, have you ever missed an important call? Yes, once I missed an important call from my boss. Felt bad about it. Number mm. six, have you tried foreign cuisine while dining out? I've tried Italian food. Those pizzas are great. Right. Mm. And cuisine means food. Yes. And dining out means eating out. Mm -hmm. Number seven, are you obsessed with playing computer games? No, I'm not obsessed, but I enjoy a good game now and then. I only played Angry Birds. Uh -huh. Sorry, I'm an old guy. It's okay. Be obsessed with means you are crazy about mm -hmm. doing something too much. If you say I'm obsessed with listening to Moon's MP3 file, mm -hmm. which means good. Mm -hmm. Number eight, who disappoints you? Sometimes my cousin can be a bit careless. Oh, careless. Mm -hmm. this, this is very useful mm -hmm. adjective. Careless means not careful. Yes. Like moon. I'm careful. No, you are clumsy. You always drop something. Ah, that's right. In that case, that's right. Yeah. And then number nine, do you like walking in the mm -hmm. forest? I do. It feels calm and refreshing. Right. That's why I love hiking. Oh. Do you want to go hiking this weekend? This weekend? I'm not sure because I want to take a rest and I'm yeah. a homebody. Yes. Moon is a homebody. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Did you meet up with friends yesterday? No, I was busy, but I will see them soon. Right. And then meet up with friends or yeah. meet up with someone means you just meet and just hang out. Mm -hmm. Number 11. How can you save money when you're purchasing designer items? I usually wait for sales or look for discounts on online. Right. Number 12, do you prefer going to the park alone or with friends? Mm, I like both. Alone for peace, with friends for laughs. Alone for peace. Mm -hmm. It means just, you know, refreshing. Yes. No talking. No talking. Very peaceful. Mm -hmm. And friends for laughs mean just chatting, yes. make fun, yes. something like that. Number 13, have you ever watched a foreign language film? Mm, yes, I watched a French film. It was pretty cool. Right. Mm. Number 14, what gives you energy during lunchtime? A good chicken salad always perks me up. Yes, mm. perks me up means give me good energy. Yes. So today, we had chukumi, mm. small octopus. Yes. Did you enjoy it? It was the best chukumi I've ever had in my entire life. Really? Yes. It so was, she, mm. she told me that mm. she want to take her parents to yeah. the place. The price was very reasonable, first of all, and the taste was really good. And the location was perfect. Right. Mm. And then after having lunch, I started climbing to Mountain Mubo. Mm. 
That's why I'm super tired now. Yes. Number 15, how often do you drink coffee? I drink it most mornings. Helps me to wake up. Right, mm. but Moon doesn't drink coffee. Yes, I don't. She just read the script. Yes. Number 16, do you use FaceTime on the iPhone? Yes, it's a handy for video calls with family. Yes, mm. it's handy. Handy means very useful. Yes. But Moon is clumsy. Oh, I am clumsy. Right. Mm. And homebody. I'm a homebody, yes. Homebody. Mm. And then she likes eating jukumi. Yes. Especially in that place. Right. Yes. I forgot the name of the restaurant. Me too. But uh, if I remember the name of the restaurant, uh -huh. I will notice you guys. Yes. Good. And then this is all our lesson. Thank you for listening to our MP3 file. And our videos. Thank you for watching our videos too. And I will see you guys on next videos and MP3 files. Yes. It's okay if you don't understand what we are talking about, what you are mm -hmm. saying in English. Mm -hmm. Just go with the flow. Yes, go with the flow. If you go with the flow, mm -hmm. you will understand someday. That's right. This is our purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay. 고생하셨습니다. 이거 앤드루 쌤이 하신 거죠?